What's up everybody? My name is Tiffany Cruz. I'm 24 years old. I come from North New Jersey. I live currently I live in Petersburg, Virginia. That's where I go to school at. Um, I'm about to start off by answering some of these questions. The, one of the questions was what was the toughest thing that you ever had to overcome in your life? Definitely the toughest thing I ever had to overcome was when I was about 17, 18 years old, I was living in Virginia. Um, my mom had moved down there from New Jersey. She was kind of struggling or whatever. She was a, she's a single pa parent. So when I went down there, I kind of started hanging with the wrong crowd. The crowd, they were, they, were, we, they called themselves Camp Grove. It was like a little hood or whatever. So it was kind of like a gang. We used to skip school. I never went to school. Um, we used to smoke weed all day, every day in somebody's house, going house to house. Um, I got, I was suspended from school. I got expelled from three schools. And like, I was just doing bad. Like I was kind of like selling drugs, hanging with all the people on the block, like doing everything I wasn't supposed to do. My mother kept on telling me like, you need to turn your life around. You need to do something with your life. You gonna be old, not doing nothing. And one day I just was like, yo, maybe she right. Like I, I, ain't, I ain't graduated high school. So I took my GED, I passed it, but then one day I'm like, yo, maybe she right. I applied, I took my SATs. Um, they said I scored pretty high on the SAT, so they like, maybe you should apply to school. So I applied to Norfolk State, Virginia State, um, BSU, and I actually got into all three schools. Like, I, I don't know. I think it was the grace of God, if you really ask me. Like, I don't understand how I really got accepted to these schools. I got accepted. I packed my bag. I was like currently when I was before I got accepted to school, I was going house to house from North Carolina to my cousin house to Virginia to my mother house. No money. So I got in school and ever since then, like everything good has been happening right now. Currently, I'm in my senior year of college. I go to school for TV production and audio, audio, audio engineering. Um, I'm pretty soon my, my GPA is like a three three. If I get it up to a three five, I'm gonna graduate magna cum laude. Like I just turned my life all the way around. Um, right now we're at my aunt house and I have a lot of family here right now. So I'm just gonna introduce you to some of my cousins, my father, and everything. So you guys just come with me. This right here, this is my dad, Michael Jasper. What's up? He's a personal trainer. He's fit. He get me fit right now. He's trying to get me get in the right, there. Get the right, get the right, get the right. That's what it is. This is this is Debbie. This is my sister, my oldest sister, Jillian. My pretty sister. This is my cousin, Tyrell. It's my cousin Tom. Everybody chilling in here. This is my cousin Brittany. This is my favorite cousin Brittany right here. Hello. Me and her been through a lot. <laughs> Inspiring model. Slash <laughs> social worker. Um, this is this is my cousin Ab. This is my cousin Tracy. This is right here. This is my cousin. T. T. That's a friend. His cousin. And I got a special person that I want everybody to meet. Why this nigga be Right? Because he the reason why I rap. Like, this is my cousin, Mac Mill. Mac Millimeter. Mac Mill. Hey, yo, 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 you my motherfucking cousin. You don't know my name? Look, this is Mike Mill. So, look, Pete, this is the crazy story about him. He like, when I was like nine years old, he was rapping, he was always in the music scene. And I used to just watch him in downstairs in my grandmother's basement in the studio. And I used to be like, yo, I was like watching them rap. And I was like, yo, teach me how to work, work the board. Teach me how to record myself. So like, he taught me how to do that. And then when he used to leave, he used to let me be in the studio by myself. And I used to just play on, on his little recording stuff. So he really inspired me a lot. Like if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be rapping right now. So. Yeah, but at the end of this uh, video, I'm supposed to spit a little verse, so that, I'm going to rap. Girl. I said, thing ain't nobody going to stop my shine. Ain't nobody going to stop my grind. 
I love it and I need it. My hustle's like no other and these beats is therapeutic. So if you got a problem, then I'm chucking up the deuces. I always been influenced by real music and all these other artists sound in real life stupid. My passion is immense, so it only makes sense to acquire what is meant. These liars represent fairy tales of bullish. Bought your bottles in the club and the car that you rent. You will never make it. Nobody believe in that ish. Let me lend you an ear so you can listen to the truth. Cause everything I indicate, I'm speaking through this booth. I'ma always shine, so you better follow suit. I'm lacing up a wall, yeah, I'm lacing up my boots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks. Go in, go in, go in one more time. Really one more say, time for me. I really want to say, Candy, if you pick me, like, I would be really appreciative. I didn't change my life all the way around from nothing to something. And I just need somebody to believe in my dream as much as I believe in it. And I think you'll be the perfect person to help me. And I just really appreciate your time. And thank you, guys. Please. Yes, sir. 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 Y